This is a much slower and unedited video where I show how to convert 3D objects to Minecraft for complete beginners using Binvox. Binvox is an extremely powerful tool that I have used in my previous videos. If you want to check them out and be entertained, look at the top right. For everyone else, all useful information can be found in the description, including timestamps if you're already familiar with Blender. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be showcasing the Blender to Minecraft using 3D programs. So we're going to hop right into it. Basically, you're going to pull up Google and you're going to look up blender.org. And uh, you're going to download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm um, not going to do that. But, you know, uh, make sure you have a desktop shortcut and all that. Uh, you can go ahead and open up Blender. And uh, that's not the only tool we need. Uh, we also need another program called MC Edit, which is right here. You can download that. I uh, also have that, so, you know, we'll be opening that later. And the last and final thing you will need is uh, Binvox, which is the program that you use to convert Blender into a Minecraft schematic, which you can then edit in MC Edit. So basically, uh, Binvox has changed their directory, their what you call their URL address, and when you go to download it, it does not work. And I have went to the official website. Uh, as of right now, it does not work, but do not worry. I have included a link that I have created myself that has the Binvox folders and files that make it work. It's an ad focus link. Uh, you just have to wait a couple seconds. And once that's finished, it will take you to a Mediafire link, which you can download in the zip file. Uh, make sure you unzip it and everything, and it should be workable so I'll just drop it here and uh, I already have it here so I'm just gonna be using this file instead of this so I'll just delete that and so now we have all the tools we need so now I can show you the actual process of making it so we're just gonna switch over the blender and now we can start modeling now obviously if you're new to blender uh, this program can be quite intimidating there's quite a few buttons that can confuse you uh, you'll typically have to look up a tutorial, but don't worry. Uh, instead of looking up a 30 minute tutorial on basic controls of Blender, I will show you right here. So starting off, middle click, you can rotate everything. Uh, you can take a look around your object. If you shift plus middle click, you can move it horizontally, vertically. Uh, it does not matter. Um, if you click on an object, you select it. So this would be the camera, which you can access with zero that will put you in camera mode. You will not be using this, so you can just hit the delete button. There's also light, which uh, is also for rendering things and all that. You can also delete that as you will not need that for this. So, how do we place a new object? Like let's say you accidentally delete your object or something, right? Uh, you can hit shift A and you can select all of these, but what you will mostly be using is mesh. Uh, you have a couple of selections here. It can be cube. This is typically the most useful one you will use. Uh, there's a couple others, like a UV sphere, uh, obviously cylinder, you know, all, all that good stuff. Uh, you can hit Control Z to undo it, and you can hit Control Shift Z or Control Shift Z to redo it, and that will bring everything back, obviously. So I just delete that. So now we're going to start with our object. Uh, you just there's an automatic blender monkey that you can make. Uh, we'll just use this, and um, yeah, we'll also be using the cubes. So I hit grab and Z. Uh, hitting G is the grab button. You can rotate it along the axis. Uh, there are three axes in Blender: uh, the X, Y, and Z axis. So if you hit X while grabbing it, you can slide it on the X axis. If you hit Y, or let me grab it, Y, slide along the Y axis, or Z, along the Z axis. Um, you can also press R, that will rotate your object. I'll just undo that. And uh, if I hit R, X, it will rotate along the X, Y along the Y axis, and Z along the Z axis. 
So very useful. Um, those are the basics of it all. Uh, there's also a couple modes that you can switch between, which will be very important to creating your sculptures. Now, I also want to add that you do not need to be a pro in Binvox or in Blender to create good looking things in Minecraft as the quality will drop off when you render it to the block game. So we're going to do this, we're going to move it here, and then I'm going to hit top left here with object mode. Now there are three modes that are important, uh, edit mode and sculpt mode for this. Uh, you're going to go to the edit mode where you will have your object selected. Now in edit mode you can only select the object that you have already selected in object mode. Uh, you're going to right click, hit subdivide, and just do that two or three times. You can do it however you, however you want. However, you will create more vertices and if you have a bad computer then try to keep these vertices down and maybe only do it one, two, or three times. And uh, I'm gonna just hit tab, which takes us back in the object mode automatically. You can switch it in top left. Uh, you're gonna hit control Z, control V, and you can copy objects. If I can just grab it with G, X, move it. And uh, yeah, so that's how you kind of manipulate objects in Blender. Uh, there is a reason we created this many vertices. Uh, we're going to uh, be sculpting this box into something that is more like the chest of a monkey, I guess. So we will go to sculpt mode. So sculpt mode, you have all these tools here, but um, I typically use this. They changed it a lot in Blender, so I don't. I'm not quite good at using this, but I know enough to make a tutorial on how to do it. So basically, you are going to go up here to the wrench and screw on the right. You're going to hit the drop down, you're going to hit go to sculpt tool, and you can select your tool here. Uh, I think I'm going to go on to draw sharp. Not sure, nah. Um, let's do clay strips. And we'll select the larger version. Uh, sometimes multiple brushes have the same or different versions of them, so change that. Uh, then you will kind of draw around here. You know, you can draw, just kind of sculpt it. It will uh, go on one side and the other. And uh, we just need to make this look like a monkey. Gonna make him a fat monkey. Who's your cute fat monkey? <laughs> some chest and uh, I think this looks good enough so we're going to go to object mode again uh, I'm gonna resize this with S and then I'm gonna hit X or Y actually which will resize along the Y axis and we're just gonna make it a little bit smaller uh, grab Y grab with Z and I don't like that how it's going through his body. We're just gonna rotate a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll rotate this as well. We're not gonna give him a neck. I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> there we go. Got monkey. Now we're going to add some kind of weird looking arms and legs. We're gonna use cylinder because I wanna keep this video nice and short. Uh, let's do this. Rotate on the Y axis, grab X, move it there, grab Y, move it there. Again, it doesn't need to be super detailed because you're going to be turning this into block game, so don't worry about detail too much. Alright, I think this is good enough for a tutorial purpose. Obviously, it doesn't look too great. But, uh, you know, I spent, like, three minutes on this, so it's good enough. <laughs> so, now we are going to convert the 3D into Minecraft by saving the file. And you're going to save it um, just in case something goes wrong, just in case you want to change it. But I'm just going to call this a Mankey uh, Blender. And now you're going to go to File. You're going to go to export 
and you are going to go to wavefront which is a .obj file now I have this path to my uh, blender the MC file already but I'm gonna go to desktop blender the MC hopefully you have that on your desktop if not it's probably in your downloads folder uh, I go to binvox I don't think this is included in the download but um this would be the file so binvox here uh, basically place it in the same as um, your files to unblender.mc I have to check the file uh, make sure you have it in the same folder as the binvox.exe otherwise it will not work so you're gonna export objects and now that it's exported you may close blender alright so now that you have your 3d object you're gonna open blender the MC uh, you're gonna open the binvox file uh, it may just be blender the MC as I said before um, let's see so you're gonna look for your monkey or monkey the objects as I spelled it uh, you're going to open up command prompts and then you're gonna look at the file here you're gonna click here for Windows uh, control C and then you're gonna type CD and then control V that will path it to uh, the binvox folder where you can run your commands and convert your object so Right here, I have another command I'm going to put. Basically, you are going to copy paste this. Um, there's a couple of parameters that go over here. So you're going to type binvox uh, dash d. That doesn't really matter. Uh, the number here is 64. That means it will be 64 blocks wide, or 64 blocks large. Uh, however wide it is or tall it is depends on the Blender object. You can experiment with it. But I'm going to set this to a massive size of 128. That's about half the Minecraft build limit. Next thing you want to pay attention to is dash RI. This decides whether the Minecraft blocks will be rendered as hollow inside or not. Now typically you don't want this because it creates a lot of holes in your um, in your creation and it's just not good to have, I don't believe, unless you're making something inside. But if I were you, I would stay away from it. And then we have schematic. That's just the file type that you'll be that you want it to output as. So we want schematic file. You can also do dot skim or um, MC edit file as well. That would work. But I think schematic is supported by everything. So probably just do that. And then you're gonna want to put the name of the object that you've created. So in this case, it would be manky.obj. And that's it. You just type that and you press enter so it's created a little uh, preview of the monkey however it's not too good if you really want to preview it um, and output it as a schematic here so now you can view this in MC edit so you'll just open up MC edit and we'll just wait for that to load uh, just hit edit I'll just use this world here custom generated modded world Obviously, it doesn't have mods. Uh, MC Edit does not work with 1.12 or above right now, so just keep that in mind. And then you're gonna take the uh, right here. You're gonna take Manky Schematic and just drag and drop it in. And typically with Blender, um, it will paste it sideways, which is really unfortunate. So we are going to rotate it on the z-axis. Just add a nine here. Press enter, and your monkey will be ups or right side up. Then you're gonna hit a uh, confirm. It's gonna update everything, and now you officially have your monkey in the world of Minecraft. Now I don't really quite like it, so I'm going to actually open it up, and I am going to create another binvox file. Uh, we'll just remove the RI. Manky.object. And I'm going to make it 200. Yeah, 200 blocks large. So we're just going to create that. And I probably overwrote the file. It created it as Manky1. So we'll just fly over here. And we'll drop it in. See how this looks. Uh, 
Obviously, the larger you make it, the more detailed it will be. Now that we have this all finished, we are going to go up to the top left MC edit, and we are going to hit save world, and that will save the world and drop the monkey in for good. So now we're going to take a look at this, uh, I think it's a 3k by 3k map, that's what it's called, yeah. So now we got our uh, behemoth monkey up in here, and I think it actually turned out really good pretty detailed. I think his smile is a little crooked, looks like, but uh, you know, minor mistakes like that, you can always just boop. And a boop, boop. You know, it's not perfect, but with a little bit of human touch, you can fix any errors that are made in this, so yeah. That's the monkey. That's the tutorial, guys. And now we're going to take a giant panning shot over this abomination to hopefully make it look good. If you got this far into the video, thank you for watching, and once again, check the description as it will give you all the resources you need to do what I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the bell, and join my Discord if you have any questions or requests you want to make for building. And who knows, maybe you'll end up in one of the videos. Peace out guys, see you in the next video.